Hi, my name is Miss Darcy and I'm a children's librarian. Today I'm going to read you a story called The Peculiar Pig by Joy Stewart There was a different sort of piglet in the pig pen one spring morning. But Mama Pig didn't care. She loved her piglets all the same. To her, each one was special. The other piglets were bigger and stronger and often pushed this little piglet aside. But she was always willing to wait her turn. The day came when Mama Pig gave each piglet their name. She named them Freckles, Pinky, Prudence, Patch, Scrappy, Rolly, and my shining little one, Penny. The piglets grew bigger every day and Penny grew longer. She sure is peculiar looking, Scrappy told Freckles. Penny didn't know why she was different, but Mama Pig told her, it doesn't matter, Penny. I love all my little piglets the same. As she grew, Penny started to sound different too. Freckles said, and it's so loud, complained Patch. But Penny liked all the sounds she could make. She practiced her oinks, growls, and barks with Mama Pig while her sisters and brothers played in the mud. All the piglets became good diggers. Prudence watched Penny and told her, proper pigs use their snouts to dig. But my paws just work better, said Penny. Scrappy said, how peculiar. One day, the piglets were having fun racing around the farm. Wow, Penny sure is quick, said Rolly. Even with those short little legs, Pinky giggled. Then something stopped them in their tracks. It was a scary, hissing creature. All of a sudden, a fearsome sound came from deep inside Penny. Ruff, 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 ruff. Her sharp growls sent the creature slithering away. Wow, said the piglets. Thank you, Penny. Then they tried to bark, just like Penny. Grink, grink, snuff, snuff, grink. Penny laughed and said, now those are some peculiar growls. Then they all agreed that peculiar was perfect. And everyone was glad there was a different sort of piglet in the family. The end.